So today is October the 7th, 2020, and it is 8 a.m. And I just woke up from a dream. Um, clearly, this dream is from the Lord, and He has guided me to make this video, to record it, because He wants me to share it. Because many of you are sleeping, and He wants to awaken you. He wants to awaken the church. And those of us who are awake, the Lord wants us to stay connected with him. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share it according to exactly how the Lord gave this to me. I do not want to um, add and I don't want to take away. And I have already prayed. Um, and I'm just, I've been here sitting on, on, on my bed, just digesting it. Cause every time the Lord gives me something, I sit and I digest it. And the first people that are going to get this video is my family before I actually share it. Um, because we need to stay awake. It's not time for, um, it's not time for division. We don't have time uh, to be in conflict. We don't have time to be jealous in each other. Um, it's time for us to awaken. The time is short. So this is what I saw. I had a dream within a dream. Those who dream, you know what I'm talking about. I did not know until I awoke. And then I actually awoke. So I saw that I was, um, I was dreaming that I saw the coming of the Lord. And I saw that I was coming with one of my friends, um, one of my co-workers, she's a co-worker, and her name is Angela. She's an African-American, beautiful African-American girl. And we were walking, I saw that me and her, we were walking. We were walking through a path, um, you know, it looked like a little valley, you know, like little mountains, you know. And we were walking and we were talking. And suddenly when we were walking and we were talking, um, we, we felt this like, trimmer you know and then we look up and when we look up we saw that the birds were like fleeing you know from something like they were coming from one direction but they were coming you know like when you see the birds like flying all together in flocks I guess is what you call it they were flying like this all together but you could tell that they were fleeing from something and suddenly when we saw that okay when we saw that because I'm looking up now and I saw the birds fleeing and as I saw the birds fleeing, that's when this is very symbolic. I saw, you know, that the dust went up like this, you know, like when the earth is being shaken, you know, like the, like the earth is being shaken. I saw the dust lifted up in the air, you know, so, and I saw, and I saw, which is very symbolic. Don't tell me how I saw this. I'm just sharing what I saw. And I saw, you know, like when, uh, you know, the fishes. You know, the fishes are up in the water, okay? They're in the water swimming. I saw the fishes being raised up, you know, like when something is raised up and they hit again the ground like that, you know? So I saw them going up and they hit the ground. I mean, it was, it was like the earth was being shaken, you know? Um, when I saw this, so I saw the birds on the left coming like this, and then I saw, you know, like the fish from a distance, I saw them go up and then hit the water again and down. You know, it, it was like a great impact. That's what I saw. And then uh, we started running because, you know, there was, um, there was the, sh the earth was shaking. So we started running. She went one direction and I went the rest. And then I remember, um, I remember st go stumbling towards um, my sister and my and my and her and her oldest son and they were like on the ground like this you know like they like you know like when you're at war and you're like what's going on the whole everything is shaking you know and then um right it, when this is happening this is how this happens so quick okay we look in the sky the three of us like this and we see angels all over the place i mean we see them like like you're seeing me like you know like you're seeing like i'm seeing one of my friends in the flesh 
and we're seeing them flying in the air, you know? This may sound like a movie, but this is not a movie. This is real. And I see them, we see them all over the place. And I saw that they had like a red, uh, like a red cap. I guess that's what you call it, a red cap. You know, it was red. It, and I saw that they had a, um, something on their head. It was like a crown. It was angels and they were descending and they were, it was so quick. I mean, the flight that they were, they were flying, it was so quick. And I saw that they descended and as they descended, they came straight towards us and they snatched me. They snatched me and I stood looking at my sister's face and my nephew's face. They snatched me. And they lifted me up and the flight was so quick. It was so quick. You don't have time to repent. It was so quick. It, it was so quick. And as soon as they snatched me and I was flying up, it, I, I, it was two angels. I saw them, you know, I saw their faces. I saw their faces, you know, they look like, you know, they look like humans. I saw them. You know, they were dressed with these red caps and they had a, 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 a crown on their heads. I mean, I saw this, you know, I know many are seeing them dressed in white, but this is what I saw. This is the way the Lord showed it because the, the Lord showed this. I've had other dreams and visions, but this time the Lord showed it to me. So up close, not from a distance, like I've seen it before. And when I rose up, it was so quick. I was going towards the, the clouds and I was in a speed. It was so quick and I woke up and when I woke up, I woke up to another, I woke up within a dream, like I'm saying. And when I woke up, I saw myself sitting in the living room, you know, and I came and I, um, I saw all my family members sitting in the living room and I told him, I said, I, I need you guys to please sit down. I remember that they had the radio and the radio was so loud. And one of my brothers, uh, my brother, Tony, he started putting more volume. You know, like they were trying to distract me, you know, for me not to share this dream. And I said, listen, guys, I said, I need to share this dream. This dream is important. I said, the Lord gave me this dream. And finally, with my parents' help, they uh, finally listened and they sat down and I shared this dream, you know, and I shared this dream. I'm still dreaming, you know, but, you know, and I shared it with them. And I remember telling them in the dream that this is very symbolic because the word of God says, you know, in Matthew 24, 40 to 41, and I'm actually going to read it. So Matthew 24, 40 to 41. Let me see if I can find it. And it's talking about the day and hour, the day and hour unknown. So Matthew 40. Matthew 24, 40 to 41. I'm looking for it. Matthew 24. Okay, and listen to what it says. It says, two men will be in the field. One will be taken. The other will be left behind. And I saw this. I saw, I saw, I saw, that, my, I saw that my sister and my nephew were staying. And I was taken. It says... Two men will be in the field. One will be taken. The other will be left behind. Two women will be grinding with, the hand, with a hand mill. One will be taken and the other will be left behind. And the day of the Lord will be glorious, but it will be very dreadful. It says it. Um, if we go to the, if we go to the, um, to the book of, If we go to the book of um, both Joel and Acts speaks about this. But listen to what um, Joel says. It's Joel chapter 2. And we're going to read from verse 28 to 31. It says, After this, I will pour up my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will dream dreams. Your, your, your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour up my spirit in those days. I will show signs and wonders on, in the heavens and on the earth. 
blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. This is what the word of God is saying. And, um, and there's another scripture that I just read, you know, and it describes, it describes, um, the coming of, of, of the Lord. You know, many of us, we say, come Lord, come quickly, you know, but are we really ready? Because it's going to be glorious for us who are ready. And the message here is very clear. I'm gonna, now that I have time, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to share, you know, another dream that I had, you know, I had, I'm going to share two more dreams. And um, I saw myself that we were in this little house and there was a gathering going on and the house is filling up with people. It was a regular house. It wasn't a church building. And we started worshiping the Lord and we started singing and we started dancing in the spirit. Some were speaking in tongues. I have a friend, her name is Leah. And she was in this dream. And I saw her, she was uh, speaking in tongues. I saw some that were on the floor, they were crying, they were worshiping the Lord. Um, miracles took place. I saw a mighty outpouring of the Lord, which Joel and Acts speaks of. That is what the Lord was showing me. What the Lord is trying to do, the Lord is trying to take the church back to its original roots. You know, that's what the Lord is trying to do. We need to break from that habit of, 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 the, of, of man's program and let the Holy Spirit do what he needs to do. So in the dream I saw that we were in this house and the Lord was manifesting. The Lord was outpouring and it was so powerful. And I remember that after that scene, I, rem I, I saw a second scene. I saw myself, um, you know, I saw myself coming out of the house because I was looking for Leah, you know, and I came out of the house. And when I came out of the house, I saw that there was a table and, uh, and Leah was sitting on one of the chairs. It was two chairs. And she gives me this look and tells me to go sit next to her. I go and I go to sit next to her. And when I go to sit next to her, she opens her mouth to speak, you know, and as she opens her mouth to speak, a sound, it's a blast. That's the best way that I can describe it. It penetrates. It comes from the heavens and it penetrates the clouds and it hits the earth. And I will never forget the sound. I heard the sound of the trumpet and I heard it twice and it went like this. Do, 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 do. And Leah, she smiles and she looks at me and she says, do you hear that? And she's looking above. And I said, I do. And as she says that, it, it was immediately, like I said, it was so quick. You don't have time to repent. It was so quick. I see that a light, because I'm looking at her and I see that a light is coming from her belly is coming from within her a light that just starts flashing you know like when you grab a light Let, let's say you you grab a let, let's say you go in your house and it's at night and you turn the light on in your house and somebody comes out of your house and sees your house from a distance they're gonna see that your house is lighted like that i saw a light flashing from her light coming like this all over and while i see that light coming from her I feel the change. So I'm seeing it on her happening and I'm feeling the change. And I feel my body being transformed in the blink of an eye because the Bible speaks of this. It says that our body is going to be changed, that the trumpet is going to sound and our body is going to be changed in the blink of an eye at the sound of the trumpet for the trumpet will sound. And I'm feeling the change. And as I'm looking at her, I'm feeling the change and it was so quick and I remember that the last carnal thought I saw as I look up because it was so quick the last carnal thought I had and I knew my daughter was in school I knew it because that's the last thought I saw and I said and I said to myself Paris because her name is Paris Paris are you right rising 
That's what I was saying. And my body was transformed. And me and her were lifted up. And I woke up. When I awoke, I awoke hearing the trumpet. Because the trumpet sounded twice. Okay. The trumpet sounded twice. When I awoke, my husband was holding me because I was crying. Because I was so full of, I was, uh, his glory was all around us. And he said, baby, it's okay. It's okay. It was only a dream. And I started crying. You know why I was crying? Because it felt so good. Because I knew that I was going home. I knew it. It's a feeling. It was so full of peace. It was so full of joy. And I knew that I was going home. I knew it. So when I woke up, I woke up hearing the trumpet. And I, I told him. And he looked at me. He's like, baby, I don't hear anything. And he hugged me and shocked me. I started crying. I remember I, 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 I got off his arms. And I just got up. This happened the first year that we moved here. This was uh, three years. three. No, this was four years ago. This dream. And I woke up because we had dark curtains and I moved the curtains and I said that it was the daylight and I was crying. I said, no, I said I was going home. I was going home. You, you can't even describe the feeling of how it's going to feel. I just, it, 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 it was a glory that you felt. You felt, you, you, you felt so glorious. You felt so full of peace. You felt that you were going home. Finally home. You felt it. I should have shared this dream a while. But I feel like this is the time. So I had that dream. And that message is very clear there. God is getting ready to outpour. God is already pouring. A mighty outpouring is going to happen. It's happening. Okay. It's already happening to those of us who are connected with him. Those of us who are in the depth, deep of the water, you know, we're being alert. He's giving us dreams. He's giving us visions. He's speaking to us in different ways, you know. So we have to stay connected. We have to stay ready. So the message here is very clear. When, when we, we see the building where we were worshiping, that's the mighty old pouring. This is a powerful message. Right after the mighty outpouring, we saw the great we, we saw the rapture taking place. We saw the great coming of the Lord. You know. And I also, now that I'm speaking about the great coming of the Lord, I have it's brought to my memory. There is a vision that I had. I saw that me and my mom, this was a recent one, this was this year. And I already shared it with her. And I had to speak with another young lady that I saw in my vision. I saw that me and my mom, we were overseas somewhere. We were with a group of girls. We were in a camp. And all of these rooms were filled with different teachers. You know, a Christian camp. And I remember looking out in the ocean. And I saw the wave, a wave rising up. And it raised up so high that when I looked... I saw, I could see through the wave, you know what I mean, like it was clear, and that's when I, uh, Holy Spirit gave me this a sermon, I was somewhere in the Caribbean, I don't know where, but I was somewhere in the Caribbean, and my mom is like, it's coming, it's coming, you know, and I saw people standing on the wave, and specifically God Zoom in my eyes. I don't know why he does this, but I don't know. This is what he does with me. He zoom in my eyes and I focus on this lady that was up with her hands like this. And she was standing on the wave. And I've always been so curious. So I remember looking at her feet and trying to see if I can find her feet all the way underneath the water. And that's when I saw, you know, that we were in, in the, in the, somewhere in, in the, um, in the Caribbean, you know. And then my mom is saying, my mom is pulling my arm and she says, honey, let's go, let's go. The storm is coming. Let's go, let's go, you know. And we're all, we, we, uh, we all started running as I see the water coming. As I see the water coming, I remember that we started running and I see the first little house. In the first little house, I see this evangelist. It's an evangelist that he has a big platform, okay. I see him coming. Out of the uh, out of the little camp room camp house, with like four or five teenagers, they're coming out, 
And I see that they're laughing and talking. I see that, you know, like him entertaining the kids, you know, the youths. And they don't see that the wave is coming. And I continue running as I continue running. Okay. I see that there is a little door. And as I'm passing through, I see that people are sitting like this. And in front, there's like something going on, some type of show. I don't know if it was a skit. I don't know what it was, but people are like this, you know, almost like robots. And this is going on. And all of their attention is at the front of what's going on of the skit. And the wave is coming. And they don't, they don't realize and they don't pay attention that the wave is coming. And finally, I see that we go in a room. Okay. And I woke up. Okay. So I just stood there trying to digest this, what the Lord had just showed to me. And I had to pray. I said, Lord, what are you trying to show me? Because, you know, sometimes you have the dreams and you understand them. And sometimes, you know, sometimes you understand and God gives you the understanding. And other times you have to pray, you know, and then God later shows you the understanding. I ended up sharing it with my husband. And then it was so clear. It was so clear. The wave represents, okay, the great mighty outpouring, okay, that the Lord is bringing to this earth for those who are connected, those who are living in the spirit. Because it's very clear that the people that were out in the deep water, those were the people that were on top of the wave. Okay. They were on top of the wave because I saw women, I saw children, I saw teenagers, I saw the elderly, I saw different, different people, different ages on that wave. So it's very clear that those, the message is that those that are in the deep will participate of this mighty outpouring, those that are in the deep things of God, those that are connected with God, those that are living in the spirit, okay? They're the ones that are going to participate of this mighty outpouring. God's going to give them dreams and visions, you know, out of body experience so that we can share it with the world because they need to know, okay, that Jesus is coming and it's not far. Oh no, you see, like the length of the birds and you see how low the birds fly. My Jesus is not coming soon. My Jesus is coming now. So that's what it represents. The other group that you saw, me and my mom and all the other kids that were with us, that represents that many of us, God has given us dreams. God has given us visions. Okay. And we are, are seeing it. I mean, God keeps showing us this, okay? But we are afraid to share because we're afraid that people will mock us. We're afraid that we're going to lose our so-called status, you know? We are afraid to share what God is showing us. And God is showing us supernatural things that will happen. God is showing us things that are getting ready to happen. And we need to start opening our mouth and stop being afraid because that's what the second group. Because if you saw, we started running away from it. We should have already, we should have been on that we should have been on that on that wave, but we were running from it. In other words, we were seeing it, but we were ignoring it because if we were not ignoring it, we would have been on that wave. That's what it represents. It represents this group of people that are afraid to share, you know. Because they, they will be mocked because people will not believe them. So we need to stop being afraid and we need to start sharing in the name of Jesus. I release this. The third group that we saw, we saw the evangelist, like I told you, he has a platform, a big platform. And he, he was coming out with kids and they were laughing and talking. He was just entertaining them. This refers to those big evangelists. Those people. I don't care who you are that have a big platform and you're just, you're just entertaining people. Some of you are just doing it just for the money and we're going to be judged for everything that we do here on earth. In the name of Jesus, I'm saying this. We need to wake up. Many people have huge platforms. They could be using that platform right now to warn others of what's coming, but they're just living regular lives. They have, they, they have turned their backs from God and they are not preaching the truth. 
We need to be preaching that we got to be ready because yes, death can come first before the Lord comes. But I'm telling you, Jesus is coming. I have been getting too many, too many supernatural encounters to deny and say, oh yeah, no, Jesus is going to come later. No, my Jesus is coming. And I feel my heart, like I feel an urgency to share this because like I said, it's going to be a dreadful day. It's going to be a glorious day for us who are ready, but it's going to be a dreadful day for those who stay. It's going to be very dreadful. And the fourth group represents the church. They have too many church programs. People are like robots. People go by programs now. They have stopped the flow of the Holy Spirit. It is very clear. The dream is very clear. The message is very clear. I wasn't planning on doing this video and it's, let me tell you something. I had a cancellation because I work, I do manicures and pedicures and I had a cancellation and I was telling my husband, well, should I go ahead and call one of my other clients to come in? And then my husband said, baby, why don't you just sleep in a little bit and rest? But God knew why he canceled. He allowed someone to cancel this morning because I don't have to go into work until an hour. I don't have to go into work, you know. So, and the Lord gave me this dream minutes. I woke up at eight, at eight o'clock and he gave me this dream. You know, I, fin I had this dream minutes before eight o'clock. Okay. And he knew, because if I would have gotten earlier, I wouldn't have had this dream. So I woke up a little bit late and he gave me this dream because of the urgency, you know. So there was a reason why he caused that person to cancel on me. And I'm so glad that I'm actually sharing this. We need to be ready. Jesus is coming. So I'm just going to leave you with this message. I have so many. I've had so many other dreams and visions. I've seen rapture dreams where I've seen only a few rising. Okay. Because we got to be whole. We got to be living holy, consecrated lives. You know, if we don't know the Lord. We're not going nowhere. I don't care how many days we're in church. We're not going to be going anywhere. I have so much to share that I just feel like these three dreams are of urgency. So I just pray that this is a blessing to you. And I'm going to let you go. And God bless you. And let's stay in the word. I encourage you. Let's stay in the word. Four ingredients we need right now. We need to stay in the word, okay? We need to stay in worship. We need to stay in prayer. We need to stay in fasting. So that when our father comes, he finds us doing what we are supposed to be doing. Because the word of God says that only those that do his will, will rise. So I leave you with this. It's something for us to think And I'll be very honest with you. Um, we just have to be ready. We just have to be ready. God bless you.